If you're suffering from ear pain as the result of an ear infection, there are some home remedies that you can help to soothe ear pain. Here are some of the most common remedies to treat ear infections. 1. Cold or warm compresses. Warm and cold compresses such as an ice or heat pack can ease ear pain. For warm compresses, you can use a heating pad or a damp cloth that's been soaked in warm water. Make sure the heating pad is warm, never hot. For cool compresses, place an ice pack or a cloth soaked in cold water on the affected ear. You can try both temperatures to see which helps more or alternate between a warm compress and a cold one every 10 minutes. Keep the compress on the ear until the pain subsides or the compress returns to room temperature. 2. Naturopathic Eardrops Naturopathic eardrops are made using herbal extracts and can be as, if not more, effective than over-the-counter eardrops. Those with a base of olive oil are most effective. There are plenty of naturopathic eardrops available to manage pain associated with ear infections. For example, tea tree oil eardrops can offer natural pain relief. 3. Chew gum. Ear pain can be caused by a change in ear pressure. If you develop earache while flying or driving at high altitudes, try chewing gum. Chewing gum or sucking on hard candy can reduce the pressure buildup in the ear, relieving pain. 4. Sleep upright. Your sleep position can exacerbate earache. Lying flat can cause fluid to build in the ear. Changing your position to a more upright one encourages fluid to drain from the ear, reducing the pressure. Try propping yourself up with some pillows or resting in a reclined armchair and sleep with the infected ear raised rather than against the pillow to encourage better draining. 5. Warm Olive Oil If you're suffering from earache thanks to a middle ear infection, warm olive oil or vegetable oil can help. Olive oil is a folk remedy, and while there's little solid evidence that it works, medical experts agree that putting a few drops of warm olive oil in the ear is safe and moderately effective. To avoid burning the eardrum, ensure the oil is no warmer than your body temperature. Using an eardropper, gently drip the warm oil into the infected ear canal and hold it in place using a cotton ball. While this offers pain relief for middle ear infections, it isn't usually very effective for outer ear infections. 6. Ginger Oil or Juice Ginger is packed full of natural anti-inflammatory properties that relieve the pain caused by an ear infection. For this folk remedy, you can use ginger juice or you can heat oil with ginger and strain to make a ginger oil. There are several ways to use ginger for earache, but the most important thing to remember is never pour ginger oil directly into the ear canal. Instead, apply ginger juice or warm ginger oil to the outer ear canal. 7. Garlic. Garlic is another powerful home remedy. Garlic is a natural antibiotic and pain reliever, making it an effective treatment for outer and middle ear infections. To use, first make garlic oil. You can do this by soaking crushed garlic in warm oil such as olive or sesame for a couple of minutes. Next, strain the garlic and gently pour the oil into the ear canal. 8. Vitamin D. This may seem unrelated to ear infections, but vitamin D is known to boost the immune system. A healthier immune system is less likely to be susceptible to ear infections. A 2017 study published in a medical journal showed that the risk of ear infections might be reduced by increasing serum levels of vitamin D through food consumption, supplementation, and direct sunlight. 9. Chiropractic Treatment Chiropractic treatment may help to treat or even cure infections of the middle ear. While there haven't been any long-term clinical studies that link chiropractic treatment with a reduction in earache, a 1996 study found that 93% of the child participants reported an improvement in ear pain after chiropractic adjustments. Opinion remains divided on this natural remedy, but your routine trip to the chiropractor could just soothe that pesky ear infection. 10. Neck Exercises Your earache could be caused by pressure in the ear canal. Neck exercises, particularly neck rotation exercises, can help to reduce pressure and relieve ear pain. If you have a neck injury or a stiff neck, seek professional medical advice before doing neck exercises. Try the neck rotation exercises below. 
Place both feet flat on the ground and sit up straight. Gently rotate the neck to the right until your head is parallel to your right shoulder. Now slowly rotate the neck to the left until the head is parallel to the left shoulder. Slowly raise your shoulders towards your ears. Hold each stretch for the count of five. Repeat throughout the day. 11. Hydrogen peroxide. Another common natural remedy for earache and infections is hydrogen peroxide. Simply place a few drops of 3% hydrogen peroxide into the infected ear and let it sit for a few minutes. Finally, drain the liquid into a sink and rinse your ear well with distilled water. 12. Good old-fashioned distraction. Distraction can take your mind off the pain from an ear infection. Try watching a movie, reading a book, or anything else that'll stop you from thinking about the earache. 13. Over-the-counter pain relief. If you're suffering from severe pain, you may need to take some painkillers. For infections in the middle ear or inner ear, a medical professional may prescribe anti-inflammatory drugs to reduce inflammation and other symptoms. 14. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is touted as the go-to remedy, one that your grandmother may have relied upon. Despite its strong aroma and acidic taste, this vinegar made from fermented apples has a plethora of healing properties. One of these properties is its antibacterial and antifungal characteristics. Known for its ability to fight chronic yeast infections, apple cider vinegar can also tackle fungus that may cause ear infections. To use apple cider vinegar for ear infections, mix one part apple cider vinegar with one part water. Soak a cotton ball in the solution. Place the cotton ball in your affected ear and let it sit for five minutes or so. Remove the cotton ball and lay down on your opposite side so that any residual vinegar can drain from your ear. Dry your ear out with a hair dryer set on low. When to call a doctor. Ear pain caused by a mild ear infection will usually get better within two or three days on its own or by using ear infection home remedies. However, if the symptoms remain longer than 48 hours and you notice any of the signs below, it's time to call your doctor. Call your doctor if you have a high fever, feel dizzy, have a severe headache, think there could be an object stuck in your ear, see blood, pus, or any other fluid leaking from the affected ear, Notice swelling behind your ear, especially if that side of your face feels weak or if you're unable to move it. Suffered from severe earache that stops all of the sudden, this may indicate a ruptured eardrum. To conclude, not all ear infections require antibiotics. In fact, most ear infections will clear up on their own within a week or two. Natural remedies can soothe ear pain and relieve the symptoms while your body fights the infection. Relying too heavily on prescription drugs such as antibiotics can leave us at a higher risk of antibiotic-resistant infections, making natural remedies a great alternative. If you're unsure, speak to a medical professional and see if you require a natural remedy or medical attention. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to unclog blocked ears naturally. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.